One of the misconceptions that we frequently have about Christian history is that Christianity became global at the time when Protestants, and maybe even English-speaking Protestants, first brought the Christian message to a given part of the world. What we need to realize is that Christian history has been global from the very beginning, and that even within the first century, and certainly within the first several centuries, Christianity spread fairly deep into Africa, nearly halfway across Asia, as well as on the banks of the Mediterranean Sea. So our study of the church outside of the European world helps us to see the rest of the story, and it will change our perspective on Christianity and also our perspective on the modern world. When you say that you're going to teach a course about the patristic period, the big question is, where does that period end? And frequently, Western scholars break off the end of the patristic period at a time which would make a good beginning point for the Middle Ages. So they might say the middle of the fifth century or they might say the end of the sixth century because those make a good starting point for the next course on medieval Christian history. But if you look globally at the patristic church, those dates don't make a lot of sense. It makes much more sense to continue the story of the church fathers through the rise of Islam, which radically changed the circumstances of Christians throughout the Christian world. And so going past the death of Muhammad in 632, past the end of the Arab conquest in 751, to the end of the eighth century, gives you a picture of the church as it had to adapt to the new world that was created by the rise of Islam. A lot of treatments of the early church really have an eye on the Middle Ages and the Reformation. And so they focus on that portion of the early church, which wound up being very influential in European medieval Christianity and Reformation Christianity. So they focus on the Latin-speaking Western Mediterranean world. But by far the more significant portion of the church for the development of theology, the development of Christian practice especially, was the Eastern Mediterranean world, and also fairly deep into Africa and quite deep into Asia. I think that there are a couple of things in particular that you'll be able to walk away from after you take this course. First, I hope you'll have a much greater appreciation for how truly widespread Christianity was very early in Christian history. It was by no means the case that Christianity was primarily European. Africa and Asia had major roles to play in the early church. And the other thing that I'd like a student to walk away from is the recognition of how truly great the consensus was about the Christian faith on the part of Christians all over the Christian world. We sometimes have the idea that Christianity was very fractured, that there was no such thing as orthodoxy, that there were many different views, but I believe there was a much more dramatic consensus all the way through early Christian history. But the early church was vastly bigger than simply the Roman Catholic Church, and we have a great deal to learn from the first several centuries of Christian history. It's an exciting journey, and it's a journey that I encourage you to take with me. Thank you.